Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today we're going to make a piece of ephemera, like this, but you know, Christmas, um, that we're gonna put in this journal here. So you can see um, my pages are about, I think I measured four and a half was what these were, let me check. Um, more like four. So about four inches wide. So this fits on here nicely and then you can unfold it and write on it. So decorate the front and voila. So that's what we're gonna make. And that's our little uh, journal that we started the other day. And we're gonna use this, which is, this piece is from uh, Winter Past, my digital Winter Past, and so is that snowflakes and I don't know how well you can see that I guess you can kind of see it it's just a really light uh, page with trees and snowflakes and that all right so a backing page is what that is meant to be so we just need to cut that down and let's cut the book page first and I have the measurements written in here so the book card on the back this back part is three and a half by four and a quarter so I'm going to start basically by cutting these, the plain edges off. Um, this way it would be, let's do this side first, three and a half, and then four and a quarter. Is it even, it's probably already there, huh? Yeah, it's not even quite that, so that's fine. And then this piece that you fold up is six and a quarter by seven and a half. So let's do six and a quarters first. Yeah, <laughs> straight. I think that's right, isn't it? <laughs> six and a quarter. And then seven and a half. I mean, this, it doesn't get any easier than this particular uh, piece. It's just, it's just super simple. So basically what we're going to do now, and let me see, does it matter? I mean, there's words and stuff, but okay. So there is a house down here. So we're going to go fold it in half from top to bottom. And some of the things on the paper might be upside down, but oh, that was probably the worst fold I've ever seen, Amy. Yeesh. Okay, so um, it, it doesn't really matter, but you wanna make sure that it opens this way like a book. So you're going like this, this is gonna become your front or however, whatever you want on your, a uh, piece of paper. Like you could use paper that has holly on it or just something non-directional or you'll really have to work at trying to figure out you know which parts are going to be upside down and all that. Okay so I feel like you can have that on there. Open it up. Maybe. And then this whole inside can be written on with the snowflakes and that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just ink that and it's just going to go right on here this way. I do like the book page on the back, but of course you can use whatever you want. You can uh, use a printed um, cardstock or a piece of plain cardstock like in a blue or whatever you like. Okay, I'm thinking I might put a piece of that washi up there, that blue washi, just so that it's got a little something up here because there's no writing or anything. My goodness. And I can wrap it around to the other side because it's just gonna get glued down to the page. It may become uh, like a tuck or something so you can also turn it into a pocket. And 
just going to leave a tiny bit of the book page up there. So yeah, you could turn this into a top tuck if you wanted to, or just um, glue the two sides and have, you know, kind of like a side tuck, which is probably what I'll do. But yeah, you could, you could do a few different things with that. And I am going to ink this around. These would be a great mass make product because, or project, however you want to say it. Um, because clearly you can make them very quickly. And you could just make up a whole bunch of bases using, like I did on this one, this is just that manila uh, drawing paper. If you did it that way with that, you could just make up a whole bunch of them and then just have them to grab and um, decorate up a little bit for whatever journal you're putting them into. So definitely a great mass make type thing which I stink at. I say all this mass make stuff, I never mass make anything. <laughs> I should, but I don't. Uh, real good talking about it. I wish I was better. It would probably save me a lot in the end, but I'm not. give this a real good crease because it's kind of feeling like it wants to pop open or something. I had to wash my bone folder after doing the journal video the other day because it was super sticky. Oh. Oh, this is fine. I was like, oh, I was going to make it a pocket. No, th not this part. You could, I guess, make this part a pocket, but if you want to write on it, I think it's better to just glue it down. Eek. Sorry, I know that's loud on the glass mat. I apologize. on the front of this I want to use this little girl that we were going to use yesterday and I didn't because I wanted it for this journal so I'm going to put it in this journal. All right let's see do we want anything else with her? I do like seeing the house there but we could put something a little more interesting up at the top. Let's see. Most of these have reds and that in them. Hold on just a second. I'm going to grab a different pad of paper. Okay, I am back. Good thing I stopped. My husband needed help. <laughs> so, um, uh, I've found a strip of paper that I like and then I have some words and some, some snowflakes but first I want to tell you a story because you're gonna laugh. I have this snowman and he sits flat on the floor you can see this edge is flat and his head comes off <laughs> so that you can put treats and whatever inside. We got it as a gift full of like uh, little candies and stuff when the kids were very little and um, I just I love snowmen so I kept it and put it out every year well every year Pasha plays with that snowman he knocks his head off and rolls it all over the house so but he only does it like while we're asleep or something or if we uh, leave the house like the other night we went to dinner and he um, yeah he knocks the head off of the snowman and you'll find it all different places like downstairs and at the top of the stairs and just all over the place so uh yeah I think I just thought that was funny because I never see him do it like he doesn't do it when 
were awake. But the other night I heard him bunking and bumping around and um, so I just kind of sat up in bed and looked and I could see down the hallway and he was out in the hallway throwing it in the air and just having a good old time. But it cracks me up because it's not like a super tiny piece, you know, it's not just a little snowman head that he's rolling around and throwing around. But yeah, he just loves that thing. And every year, every year, he does that. But we never see him doing it, you know. So, yeah, just a cute, flashy story. I thought you guys would like it. So I know this isn't technically super Christmassy, like, but you can decorate these however you like for whatever you're working on. Not even Christmas, you know, you can make them for um, any journal. So, yeah, I just realized once I was, once I stopped for a second, I'm like, well, this isn't very Christmassy for a Christmas ephemera Friday, but then I'm like, well, I guess you can, you know, you can make it how you want it, as Christmassy as you want. So, anyhow... my husband's shoulder all wrapped up with a heating pad <laughs> he's just a mess I feel so bad for him it's like when he gets gout in his toe and if you know anybody that has gout it is like pain like no other from what I understand I don't have that but um like you can't even put a sheet over his foot when he's got that problem he can't even stand anything touching his toes when he has it in his toes so uh, this is the first time he's ever had it in his shoulder but his dad used to get it in his elbow and wrist so it wouldn't really surprise me if it was that and usually like I said we we keep it under pretty good control with diet but you know sometimes or he'll have uh, certain kinds of beer I mean he can drink beer but it needs to be a lighter ish beer if you know what I mean um, the real big one that gets him is high fructose corn syrup. If we don't realize, I, he doesn't eat that at all if we can help it. But sometimes you know somebody will have something and you'll think, oh yeah, I'll have some of that, not even thinking. And then he's a wreck. But he hasn't had any of that lately. It's the only thing that I can think of is that burger that he had the other day. It got him good this time. He's gonna go get it checked out too, just in case it's something else. It could be his rotator cuff too, but I don't know. From painting the ceiling. You know, you get old and just the most minor things tweak something out wrong and you're all messed up. But yeah. Okay, let's see. I think I want this one here. I'm trying to think, do I want to? Because I can't leave it hanging up over that either, because it won't work. It won't unfold if I do that. Let's see. had more teeny tiny ones that I printed out, but oh, there's one. That one would work. Or didn't print out, cut them out. I always say print with that thing for some reason. One side gets more little like burn marks. They're not really burn marks, they're more, you know, singe marks or whatever. Because the Glowforge cuts with a laser, which is fire, basically. So they do get a little singed in spots on the back, usually. Okay, I think that is good. So, I like it. It's cute. 
All right, so then it just opens out this way. You could write here, right here, maybe a little. This is a little hard with the way that is, but. And then when you open it, you've got lots of writing spots. The glue's still wet on the back of her, so. But there we are. I hope you guys like those, and I hope you give them a try, because they're super easy and fun. So, oh, let me give you the measurements again. So the little backing card is three and a half by four and a quarter or four and a quarter by three and a half however you want to say that and then this page that you fold is seven and a half by six and a quarter Just hold that there for a minute so you can write it down or take a screenshot or do whatever all right so I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and stay warm and dry or cool if you're where it's hot because <laughs> I know some places are still hot or are getting hot but uh yeah we're freezing so anyway I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you again on Monday love you guys bye